it was because I really had an interest in arts. Right. And I wanted to pour my arts desires into the car and be creative with it. Interior, mm -hmm. exterior, rims. I wanted to be different. Mm -hmm. That's what I this is the type of time I'm on. Right. If anything was attracting it, it was because of my thoughts of the vehicle. Right. Not because of my thoughts of the woman. But you know I have great memory. Right? Oh Lord, she about to <laughs> tell on me. <laughs> you know what? What else? <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's the Dumashets React, and we're back, back with another video. video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another reaction. So excited about this video. If you're new to us and, and we're new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down. Hit, hit that, that subscribe button, button and turn on the post notification bell. Because we're on the road to 50K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family without further ado. Let's get into the video. Let's get it. The only thing in our society that bothers me the most is the way that men and women don't get along no more. Men and women don't That's get along. That's really what's bugging me about it. Men and women just don't get along. Like I hear women say this all the time. I know a lot of you sisters be like, chivalry is dead. Don't you? Don't y'all feel that way? Like men aren't gentlemen anymore? Mm. That's right. Chivalry is dead. And women killed it. Oh. oh. <laughs> Somebody got to be to blame. What? Look at the fellas. Look. Yo. There's a fundamental difference in the way we're going to see things. We're not going to see out of out on this issue. Okay. We're just not. Our test in life are different. A woman's test in life is material. Uh oh. A man's test in life is a woman. Oh. Oh. Now, by test, I mean that those are the things that we desire. Men have nice cars. Not because they like nice cars, because they know women like nice cars. Okay. <laughs> That's how it goes. Because men are hunters, and the car is the best. Nah, let's pause on that then, and since you want to ask me questions. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and drink my little water. <laughs> well, I was just asking, you know, you already caught what you was hunting for. See, when I, when I needed a car, it wasn't to impress no woman. Okay. <laughs> I needed to get to work. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, 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 and that was no, it. That's no, all. No, that, no, was no. it. that was it. That was all. No, no, no. What I desired to do to the car was nothing to do with a woman. It was because I already had an interest in arts. Right. And I wanted to pour my arts desires into the car and be creative with it. Interior, mm -hmm. exterior, rims. I wanted to be different. Mm -hmm. That's what I, that's just the type of time I'm on. Right. If anything was attracting it, it was because of my thoughts of the vehicle. Right. Not because of my thoughts of the woman. But you know, I have great memory. Right? Oh, Lord, she about to <laughs> tell on me. You know what? What else? What else? I said, ooh, nice Porsche. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. That's Wait a minute. Because men are hunters. And the car is the bait. And the woman comes and says, ooh, nice Porsche. Gotcha, bitch. She hop on in that joint. Look, real quick. That's how it is. But, yo, that just reminds me, and I'm going to say it, that just reminds me of those gold digger pranks. Yeah. Like, whenever they're yeah. trying to get a woman's attention, she's shy away, and she say, I got somewhere to be. She'd be like, all right, cool, bad. Let me just, you know, ram the engine a little bit, and she turn around and be like, but is this your car? Mm-hmm. Why? Why? Why do that? Like, we like nice cars. No, because the answer is in the question. She's a gold digger. Okay. All right. Oh, it, I, okay. That's not for everybody, y'all. <laughs> that's true. Come on, man. You go to a woman's house, her house be comfortable as shit. Women love comfortable surroundings. We no so they get comfortable surroundings. But let me tell you something. If a man could fuck a woman in a cardboard box, he wouldn't buy a house. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bruh. But that's still not where chivalry got killed. Chivalry got killed by the feminist movement on the magazines that got women going crazy because women got too much advice about men from other women. Mm. And they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Mm. <laughs> and it's true. I see this shit in the, ma in the magazines. I don't read them, but I be seeing the cover. I look at, I be in the grocery store, fellas, he look at one of the magazines, like, what is this? And they say on the cover, a hundred ways to please your man by 
some lady. You're not asking the source. Ain't no hundred ways. That list is four things long. Just suck his dick, play with his balls, and then fix him a sandwich and don't talk so much. You got a standing ovation. You got a standing ovation. You got a dap, too. You're getting crazy out there. Oh, man. And then the magazines trick the women. The magazines start picking at your self esteem. Every page you turn, you start feeling fatter and uglier. Oh, and you snap. feel like your clothes aren't good enough. And the magazines have you forgetting how fucking beautiful you are. Uh -oh. And that's what happens. Now look what happens. And right then on. you forget how beautiful you are, and we all suffer. If pussy was a stock, it would be plummeting right now because you flooded <laughs> the market with it. You're giving it away too easy. Man, what's the price value? Now? This is, I'm crazy. just being truthful. I'm just talking. And he calm with it. He ain't even going crazy right now. It would plummet. He'd be watching the news today. Pussy plummeted again. <laughs> and the Gold is up 10 points. <laughs> you can see it. You ever, you ever have this happen? This is how confusing it is. This, this is the practical application of what I'm talking about. Like a guy be out. This happened to a lot of guys. You be out of club. All right, he's kicking with your boys, and, and a girl walks by, and, and man, she looks good. She looks good. Not good in that classical way. Mm, I mean, you know, I'm talking good, like, she got half her ass hanging out her skirt. Mm. Oh. Her okay, titties are all mama? mashed together, oh. popping out the top of her turtleneck and shit. <laughs> the turtleneck. <laughs> And you with your buddies, right? You with your buddies, you got a couple drinks in you, and you see a guy like this, you might try to talk to her, this might not come out right. I don't know what you say, but <laughs> Damn, look at them titties! <laughs> the girl gets mad and she, oh, uh-uh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute! Just because I'm dressed this way does not make me a whore. Why Which is true. <laughs> Gentlemen, that is true. Just because they dress a certain way doesn't mean they are a certain way. Don't ever forget it. But ladies, you must understand that that is fucking confusing. Oh. Just ends. <laughs> now that would be like me, Dave Chappelle the comedian, walking around the streets in a cop uniform. <laughs> Somebody might run up on me. Oh, thank God. Officer, help us. Come on, they're over here. Help us. I'm like, oh, just because I'm dressed this way <laughs> does not make me a police officer. Bro. Look, the man is clapping extra hard. Extra hard. It's like, all right, it's like, all right lady, fine. Fine. You are not a whore. But you are wearing a whore's uniform. I'll tell you that shit right <laughs> Golly. <laughs> Little misunderstandings can happen. And then men, we misunderstand women a lot. You know, we, we always undermine their feelings. You can't do that to them. Mm. You can't, because, see feelings are, you see how they clapping? Feelings are very important to women. They are all important. I'm just learning this shit. <laughs> just, Everything's just based on how they feel. <laughs> you can hear when they tell stories. You ever tell, hear a man tell a story, it'd be just facts. Who, what, when, where, why. It was me and Bob, we was at Safeway. Then that nigga Bob said this. Then I punched that nigga, and then I broke out. Straight That's up. That's the story. <laughs> you gotta send it in. That's the story. all out. From years Women ago, tell too. stories, and all these feelings. That's the First of all, I didn't understand. I was on my period, and I just talked to my mother. So I was feeling like, like that. Damn, there's too many feelings. What the fuck happened? Get to it. Get to it. All right, man, we're going to stop right there, bro. Dave Chappelle, man, one of the greatest to do it ever. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's crazy work. His comedian stance on this work is just smooth. He mm -hmm. didn't really have to, like, make people laugh. He just kept it all factual yeah. from his standpoint. Oh, factual. Oh, okay. From his standpoint. Oh, okay. Up, up, up. See what you did there? <laughs> just try to catch me. I didn't slip. Uh -huh. I jumped. I jumped over it. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> yes, yeah, always classic. Always the storytelling. Yeah, yeah. Everybody don't have the storytelling. Mm. He has it. Mm. 
All right, y'all. We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.